Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Michelle from Michelle's Empty Nest. And today we are going to keep moving right along in my Me, Myself and I project, which was started by Hibba over at My Little Journal. And we will be starting with prompt number 21 and going through 24. And my Heidi Swap Storyline Chapters notebook is getting um, a little chunky and I like it. I love the way it feels with everything in there. Um, so I'm excited to keep going and keep getting it filled up. So today we are looking at um, self-care, celebrate you or me time, your favorite person, and then my sibling. And that was one that was broken off from one at the top that had several different options. So I included it here at number 24. I don't remember what the original 24 was, but I decided to do my sibling there. So I am going to go ahead and get you put on fast forward and we are going to get started. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna pull out everything to get started with prompt 21, which is self-care. And what immediately came to mind was the idea of when we hear we need to have our ourselves or our bucket full before we can pour into others. So I knew I wanted to run with that idea and I just went into the um, Silhouette store and found a cut file, sized it down and used Felicity Jane papers from just different multiple kits. I recently combined all my Felicity Jane papers by like style and rainbow order. Um, and I used some stickles. It's hard to see, but in that, on the little handles there, it's kind of a grayish green color. And I, I did some iridescent stickles over it to make it look a little more shiny, like, um, you know, maybe like a metal handle would be. So I've used um, Abandoned Coral Distress Oxide ink for my numbers and as a reminder that is the Carrie Bradford outnumbered 2 XL. I already had the outlines done before day one even started and then I just used the fill stamp on the day of. So I'm going to put some score tape around my bucket and I'm going to put some up to the line of where I want my shovels to stop. Um, and the, the shovels I had to size down like a ridiculous amount to get them small enough to fit um, and they say mani pedi meditation yoga therapy and bubble bath and so those are kind of the five main things that come to my mind immediately when I think of self-care and working on my mental health which is something that I do on a regular basis so I also added some scotch um, quick dry glue to the areas that were too small for the score tape um, just to make sure everything was very well adhered and then I've got my shovels in place so this is a carry I'm sorry a Kelly Perky um, alpha uh, sticker set that was when she was still Kelly Perky before paper person um, and I'm using it instead of trying to stamp out it's going to end up saying how I feel my self-care bucket and um, you're going to see me just a second here. I'm counting up to see what the middle letter is so that I can kind of get it in place and then hope everything works out. And it actually did. It came out well on the first try. <laughs> but then I re realized at about this point here that um, I had forgot to stamp self-care on my bucket before I put my bucket on my paper when it would have been a little easier to do but it's okay I mean it still is it's not too clumpy in that area of the book so I pulled out this by the well for God fanciful alpha and it's just a very fun whimsical alpha with different patterns and um, you know um, some of the letters have kind of got like two patterns mixed up. It's just, I love it. It's a fun alpha. So I'm using that to stamp self-care so that it completes my whole phrase there, how I fill my self-care bucket. And that does it for that one. And I'm going to move over to prompt 22, which is called um, Me Time or Celebrate You was how it was worded um, on the prompt list. And so... I am going to call it Me Time, and for this one I'm using Tattered Rose Distress Oxide. It matched my paper from Felicity Jane very well, and so I've got those 22s um, stamped 
fussy cut and I think I'll go ahead and adhere them first because you know I kind of got to work around them and the title to get my what's going to be like a little flip out book in place and there is it. It is made from Felicity Jane the, uh, the solid cardstock that comes with the kits and those are either a lighter darker shade or two coordinating shades on either side so you'll see when I start to open this up that this one side is kind of that corally peach and then the other side is more of like a baby pink I'm counting up numbers for the middle again here <laughs> and so I'm standing out with the extra large or no sorry the large Jane polka dot alpha from Ellie studio and those things they come in solid of an outline a stripe a star this dot a candy cane stripe um, there's numbers in all of those and there's also a coordinating die set so it's a little bit of investment to get them all but they're a great set of stamps to have in your stash uh, if you do a lot of stamping so I use those polka dots and there was my um, little prototype I needed to make sure how many places I needed so I cut the paper five inches tall and left the 12 inch length and did two strips from the same sheet and then um, I just adhered the two ends together with the washi tape that you saw there. Now I've printed my journaling onto Felicity Jane cards. That first one is kind of like an introduction and it's actually a colored grid. It doesn't show up much on camera and the others I just use the backs of some cards that I probably would not use otherwise. They just have a, a dot, a gray dot on them and that's how the Felicity Jane journaling cards are. And um, so it worked out pretty well that my uh, little booklet is an inch bigger on each side than the three by four cards and pictures that I'm using. So it just kind of gave it a nice little border. So I'm doing a picture and a journal card for crafting and scrapbooking, reading. I just put a little section of my bookcase in there. Um, puzzles, shopping, and gaming because I love to play my Nintendo Switch that my children gave me for my 50th birthday last year. So I've got all those in there and then I'm going to use uh, score tape to actually adhere the book into place. So there you see all the parts and pieces. And then I realized that I need something to be able to hold this closed and I can't just use a um, a velcro dot like I typically would do because um, you know I would need a velcro dot on every flap and I can't do that this has already added quite a bit of bulk and by the way I did not do hinges and separate pieces of paper in my mind I think that would have made it bulkier I think doing it this way maybe kept it from getting any bulkier I'm not sure but that that's why I didn't do hinges um, like I typically would do so I go into my Felicity Jane stash that's all organized by style and rainbow order and I see this um, little branding strip. It's a rainbow stripe and I thought well that's already the perfect width. I'll just cut the length down and in effect it's kind of like a belly band that's not wrapped all the way around. It's going to be attached on both sides. So I'm going to use score tape on one end and then I pulled out my Velcro dots that I just order off of Amazon and you'll see I didn't even think to cover the back of this strip so it still still has the words on the back of it but it's okay it is all okay. So I'm going to adhere this side down over on the right and then the left will be adhered with a Velcro dot so that you can just pull that open and flip open the book and it works out fairly well. All right, so then uh, we are going to move to prompt 23 here in just a second and it is favorite person and I chose Dolly Parton because I tell my husband all the time she is my hero. Um, I'm not a country music fan. I don't love her for her music, although I do think she has a beautiful voice. Um, oh, and you're going to see me here. The first sketch for 24 I didn't like, so I changed it. So I put that on the back there. <laughs> but um, she is very unapologetically herself. She is very charitable. She has a great outlook on life. And so I just love her as a person. So... I'm stamping in color theory from Studio Calico Flamingo Ink 
and that was a mistake. I had written it on my sheet and then I had made a mental note when I saw another ink later on that that's what I wanted to use instead and I forgot. So for now I'm adhering these down after I've stamped them and fussy cut them and then I think I go ahead and move to that circle and it says the way I see it if you want the rainbow you got to put up with the rain and that's a dolly quote and I just printed my circle with um, the background being black so that the mink would pick that up to color with the pink foil so it looks like my uh, text is in white and I loved how that looked so I'm now making a, uh, a hinge just out of regular copy paper. I make it two inches and just a little shorter than the paper. I, I like to have it a little shorter. And I start off by getting my journaling there. And then I'm going to go grab another piece from a Felicity Jane scrap that has numbers on one side. Because in the journaling, um, I've got all kinds of years and then dollar amounts of things that Dolly has done in her charitable work. And so I thought the numbers were um, kind of appropriate. So here I am getting that in place with the hinge. And then I'm going to glue the picture of Dolly on there. And then I'm going to start on my title. And for it, it's another Ellie Studio Large Jane Alpha. This time it has little mini miniature stars on it. And I thought, you know, she's a star. So that's kind of fitting. So I did that. And my title will be Hello Dolly. Now I'm going to use some score tape to actually put this um, little flip into my album just to give it you know, as much strong adhesive and staying power as I can. So I'm going to do that. And then um, I do have to open up my little flip book there from the, the previous page because it's getting very lumpy and bumpy in this book. But I'm getting to the end, so it's okay. Now, after that, that's when I realized well, I have this other little ink sitting up there. And then it dawned on me that's what I was going to use for my numbers on this page. It is a chalk ink versa magic. Um, it's called Pink Petunia. And it's much more of a rose gold color and has a little shimmer to it. And um, I, I thought, why did I not remember that that's what I was doing? So uh, to solve it, I just take a paintbrush and dip it into the, or not dip it into, but just, you know, tap it onto the, um, the little dewdrop stamp pad. It's very small. You'll see it come on the screen here in a minute. And I just paint over the ink that I had already stamped. Now it didn't turn out as light as it would have had that hot pink not been in the background, but in the end when it's dried, it really matches so much better with that pink foil and that was my goal in the first place. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and start telling you about uh, prompt 24 because it goes pretty quickly. It is called my sibling and it was actually um, one of the choices that were listed together in a previous prompt, like maybe number six or seven or something. So I decided to put my sibling in place of whatever 24 was in the beginning. So I just have one brother. He is my little brother, even though it doesn't look like it in this picture. So I'm going to use that wood grain paper you see there as a pocket. Um, and this color, by the way, is chipped sapphire. So that's what I've done my 24 in. Um, and I'm also backing that journaling piece that you see there. I'm backing it with that same wood grain. So I'm just putting adhesive on the back of the journaling and putting it right onto that, um, that piece of wood grain paper. Because to me, I can get a much cleaner cut when I do it this way than when I try to make two pieces that I've cut at separate times match up perfectly. So I just take it over to my trimmer there and trim off everything extra and it ends up being nice and neat. Um, I will put an Avery index tab on it uh, before we finish up here right at the end. So I'll score tape this into place to make it be the pocket. Um, and I, I adhere my picture up a little higher, like more towards the top of this piece of wood grain. Because once I cut out the 24, I'm going to put it down there at the bottom, kind of over our feet a little bit. Because that was kind of the only place where I felt like I could make it work and do everything else that I wanted to do as well. 
Uh, oh, I did go back and put a Velcro dot over there on Dolly's picture too to keep it from flapping around. All right, then I use um, the Apollo Solid Alpha from Feed Your Craft in the upper and the lower case. Um, I'm going to put on my Avery Index tab here. And I picked this one because I wanted to do little in the lower case, just to emphasize the fact that he is my little brother. So um, I'm going to stamp those upside down and backwards <laughs> so that I don't run out of room. And somehow it ended up looking straighter than when I stamped right side up and going forward. I, I don't know how that worked out. But anyway, I get my and brother in the large uh, capital alpha. And then the little is going to be in the lower case. It's going to leave me with a little bit of a blank space up at the top. And I'm going to pull out some citrus twist kit. Um, my, my little collection that's in one of those um, stadium organizers, I think is what they call it from scrapbook.com. I have several of those and they are perfect for storing like, like this, all my citrus twist kit things, um, one little word together. I just love those. So now I've grabbed the Ellie Studio Everyday Tabs stamp set and I'm stamping out thankful for you on both sides to put in there um, into the Avery Index tab. And then when I go to get the, um, the puffy hearts out, I'm thinking that maybe there might be a dark blue in there and I find one. But then I realized that right beside that was wood grain and I thought, well, that's perfect to go with the other wood grain that I have. So I'm going to put that in place and that finishes us up for the day. Okay, that is where we are calling this one done. Um, I did not intend for these two pages to coordinate, but um, I kind of like that they do. They're all Felicity Jane papers. I'm sure I mentioned that in the voiceover. Um, and just one more little look at my shovel. So I have meditation, yoga, bubble bath a mani petty and therapy. So those are the ways that I fill my self-care bucket. And then this one, I was totally going on the fly here and didn't even think about covering up this back part of the branding strip. Um, I may try to go back and fix it. I'm not sure. It, it does its job of holding my little flip out book in place. So, um, you know, it's working. Nobody's going to see the back of it really. So I, I think I'm probably okay with it staying as is. And then for 23, this was favorite person. And so I wanted to just do somebody like not a family member, not a friend. Um, but Dolly Parton is my hero. So, um, my journaling just mentions a lot of the different charitable donations and things that she does, um, to help people around her, uh, place where she was born as well as, um, across the United States and beyond. And then number 24 was my sibling. So I just have one brother and um, I'll have close-ups at the end and over on Instagram if you would like to read the journaling in detail. It's there for you. Um, and we do, we do favor a bit, I think. It shows in this picture maybe more than some. So that is the next four prompts in this project. And when we come back, we will be looking at bad habits, best thing about you, your partner, and your favorite spot at home. So that is up in the next video. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Um, there will be some links to products that I use down in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.